Oh wow, that's better than I remember. I can't remember the last time I had cereal. Mm, this reminds me of last week. Hey, that's Pally, I'm Allie, and I've heard that basil seeds are way better than these trendy chia seeds, and I'm out to scientifically prove if that's true. In this video, I'm going to test if basil seeds improve my metabolism, because if you missed it, in a past video, I tested chia seeds, and they actually made me metabolize my food worse. I went from a three to a one. I got worse too. To do this metabolism test, I'm wearing le Levels blood sugar monitor. It shows me my blood glucose in real time. So if I eat a really carby food, I'll get a big blood sugar spike. That is bad. A big spike causes inflammation, gets you closer to obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, a whole host of health problems. You don't want to spike, spikes are bad. So I'm going to intentionally give myself a spike with a really carby food and see just how high I go. Then I'm going to eat that same carby food, but with basil seeds. And we will see if the seeds stop my spike from getting so high, keep my metabolism working better, keep me healthier. First, we must choose the very carby food for the test. Oh, chia seeds are usually a morning pudding thing, basil seeds would be the same. <gasps> this is a morning meal. Balanced breakfast, what are you getting? Do I only do these very scientific tests to justify eating like crap? Maybe. Yes, this is a business expense. I am writing off sugar cereal for my job. Also, shout out to my patrons. I'm using your funds for said business expense. Tax write off. <laughs> Yay. All my mallows are at the bottom. Let's mix this around a bit. Really showed off my muscles here. <sighs> So we did a test similar to this and had chia with something really carby. I mentioned this in the beginning, you had a seven out of 10 score for eating a bagel, yeah. which is a pretty good score on level. And then she had a bagel with chia and she got a three out of 10, which is really bad. It got way worse. I would like to ask why the bowls are so small. I was thinking I should do one serving, but let's see what one serving looks like. Oh no, that's too much. It's fine. We need to see what one serving looks like. It is uh, disappointing. Yeah, that sucks. That's why your bowl is so small. Hey, that's mine. I'm gonna go to serving. Why would you do anything less? Right, exactly. There's no way that people are sitting at home just having a reasonable amount of cereal. No amount of cereal is reasonable. I disagree. What's 37 times two? That's hard. <sighs> Four to carry the one. Just fill it to the top of the bowl. To the nearest 100, it's 100. To the nearest grams. top of the bowl. Ah, it's too much. You know, I really just fill it to the top of the bowl every time I have cereal. That's why you gotta get a smaller bowl. You should have a shot glass of cereal. How much milk are you putting in? I'm gonna do one serving, unless it looks like not enough, then several servings. Also, this is almond milk still on the vegan train. Oh, wait, am I breaking vegan for this? Corn, sugar, rice, corn syrup, syrup, canola, syrup. sunflower oil. This? is plant-based. Nowhere on this does it say meat. It's, so hidden. it's got secret horse hooves. A lot of milk. I use a half. You use half a serving of the stuff that is almost healthy for you. I like it swimming. Run out of space. That's really good because you have leftover milk to add more cereal. <laughs> this is how a typical American eats breakfast. We have to mark in levels when we ate the food so then it keeps track two hours after metabolizing to show us what happened. What are you naming yours? Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs A. That's odd because I've heard it called a Reese's Puffs. Reese's. Let us know in the comments who's right. It's one of those online battles. Oh, it's telling me that about fructose. It already gave you a heads it up? Probably, it probably read the word Reese's. See, Levels already knows that you're eating something that's probably problematic. The next time you're craving something, try whole fruit <laughs> instead of processed food. Ready? I'm in. Go. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa. Oh wow, that's better than I remember. I can't remember the last time I had cereal. Mm, this reminds me of last week. This tastes like it's gonna be really bad. Ah, I can feel it going through the roof already. Mm, I could finish this box. You know, stress can also contribute to a blood sugar spike. I can just be calm about this. Everything's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. So I have a theory. First of all, my hypothesis is, mm -hmm. hypothesis, I really am a scientist. My hypothesis is that basil will work to blunt a blood sugar spike. So I have a reason why I think basil will work better. And I also have a reason why I think chia didn't work. And I will get to that on our next test. So stay tuned. This looks like it should be disgusting, but it's still so appetizing to me. Bright blue. I don't want it to be over. I thought it fit. Yeah, in my blood. All right, now we gotta sit still. If we watched or did, it worked out, it's going to affect our metabolism, so we want just the cereal's effect on our metabolism. Your teeth are blue. Oh no, gross. And the results for our not balanced breakfast, Levels gives you a score from one to 10. 10's the best, one's the worst. I got a four. Eee, that's medium bad. I know, it's like not the worst. It's but... also probably the worst score I've seen you get. <laughs> I know. Ugh, she has the metabolism of a monster. What about you? Uh, one! The worst score! You can't get worser! <laughs> and I did this double bump thing, which oh, means yeah. that my
my body's figuring out how much sugar is in my blood and then dumps too much insulin and then pulls back and then puts more in. I've heard the double bump means that you're healthy, but I don't feel healthy after having that marshmallows. <laughs> well, next we're gonna do the same test with the same cereal, but with basil. But I do want to mention, in a past video, we were talking about how we had chia with something carby and our scores got worse. But a video before that, we had fiber a supplement yeah. with a really carby meal. We had super sugar milkshakes and having fiber with them took my score from a two, which is really bad, to a seven. That's insane. It's just a scoop of Bellway, <laughs> which is also delicious. It's weird. It's really weird. So the idea is that fiber will slow down your digestion and then your body can handle that load of carbs better. It even says on here, happier gut, healthier blood sugar, and we've seen it on our bodies. Also, it's delicious. Yeah, that too. Also, it's sugar-free, 100% vegan. We love that on this channel. Mm. So if you want to try it out for yourself, add more fiber in your diet in a very easy way, I'll put a link in the description because Bellway is giving my pallies the hookup. And now let's go eat more cereal. I mentioned in the intro this is a new superfood, but it's not new. Basil seeds weren't just invented, they're a seed from nature. But we did, full disclosure, meet the creator of Zen Basil, Shakira Niazi, and she's very passionate about this and certainly convinced me that it's awesome. She also has these cellular hydration packets, which I've not tried, but I did email her and say, does it get rid of a hangover? And she said yes. So let us know if you want us to try that in a video. So the reason I think for me that my metabolism did worse when I added in chia is because I'm kind of a little bit allergic to it. What about me? Same thing with you. It might be a low grade reaction because according to Shakira and Zen Basil, chia has lectins in it. Dr. Stephen Gundry's talked about this too. Lectins? are things in plants that they use to poison us because they don't want us to eat them. Basil seeds don't have that. Right. Basil seeds don't have leptin. They soak up water, they act just like chia, if not faster. Yeah. When I make chia pudding like this, it takes it, about 15 minutes to finish this. They're already getting, look yeah, how big they are. Five minutes. Not even, it's been like a minute, look at that. It's chia for the exceptionally busy person. So if we're talking about anti-inflammatory, lectins, they say, cause inflammation. And so I would think that that's also why the chia didn't work with my body. Oh my gosh, look, there's like barely water. Oh my goodness, this looks like science class. <laughs> okay, the first bite. What do you think? It's like a hint of basil. Really? I don't feel like I taste basil at all. It's this whole other flavor. No. It's not chia, and it's not even a flavor. It's more of a texture. It has a feel. Little pops in your mouth. It definitely has a hint of basil. Like a puff. A puff of basil. We should put some on pizza. Another reason why I think this will work when chia didn't is because it's almost got two times the fiber that chia does. In the same size, Tablespoon. I think I would find a way to eat this that's not with water. Honestly, I should have put it in a cereal. My channel's harshest critic. I'm enjoying it. it tastes like Play Doh. To be fair, one, Play Doh was delicious as a child. I thoroughly enjoyed eating it from underneath my nails. I never, you know, put the whole thing in my mouth, but sometimes, you know, it just happened. No, I don't know. Two, Zen Basil has a ton of other recipes, and I don't think ever do they say just have it with water. I would definitely have this in other means. Yeah, it's such a filler. That's another thing. Yeah, you will full. get full faster oh and stay full longer. Also, prebiotic fiber. That's not probiotics. It's the stuff that feeds the probiotics. You don't have to take an expensive pill where those little probiotics die in your body anyway. Yeah. If you start feeding them, then they grow on their own and you have a healthy gut. <laughs> Your face mm -hmm. looks like a healthy gut. What have you liked on this channel besides the carbs that we eat? I don't ever try to knock anyone. You definitely knocked ketone aid. Which one was that? The one that tastes like tires? Yes, according to you. 15 grams of fiber. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have the healthiest dump. Now for the cereal. Whoops. How'd that happen? We're doing this two days apart and in the day in between, she still had cereal. And some of mine, didn't you? I did. oh. <laughs> taking everything in me not to just finish this. This is a crime. No, that wouldn't be science. That'd be too many variables. Who leaves that much left? Scientists. No. If this works, I'm not kidding. I have chia every single day and I will switch to basil. I'm finishing that box tonight. <laughs> You're not allowed. You can't do anything what? for two hours. Yeah, I know. Okay. After the two hours. <laughs> having a party. Having a serial killer party. <laughs> <laughs> the final results. So what did you get? You went from a four to a six. Woohoo! Improvement! When I get a six, I'm like, hey, that's not bad. When I get a four, I'm like, yee. It worked. Hooray, basil seeds. Woo! And me. I went from a one to a one. 
But was there a difference? Yes, I got the worst score possible, but I feel like the first one should have been a negative five. My first peak was all the way up to 149. And then my peak whenever I had basil seeds was 138. Okay. So it is better, but it's right. still the worst <laughs> score. <laughs> We're looking at the bright side. So I call this experiment a success, and we learned three things out of this. One, Basil is better than chia, and I'm absolutely switching to basil now. But two, I know I keep bashing chia, but thinking as a whole, you should be adding fiber into your diet and your metabolism will get better overall if you continually do that. And we're trying to fix one meal, which is silly, when really it should be holistically adding more fiber. And so chia can do that too. Various sources are actually the best. Including Bellway supplements. And the third thing we learned, sugar cereal is stupid. Mm, then make that what you learned because I disagree. <laughs> cereal has a time and place if you want to eat it, okay? Wait, when? Whenever Breakfast? You, whenever you want, just don't eat it every day That's for fair. every meal. Don't be super restrictive. I'm not telling you never. I'm saying no. it's not a part of a long-term good diet choice. But enjoy your life. If you liked this, you'll like seeing one where we tried to lower a spike by walking, which also had remarkable results. We'll put that down there for you. I can't wait to see what this does to my blood sugar. Spiking as high as possible for science. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I'll be testing out this hack to see if I can make my body good at eating carbs. 